Hey guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back or to my channel. Today we're going to be making a binder. School just started for me and so it's time to decorate my binder. This is actually my sister's, but... And yes, I am using a lover for my ruler. I didn't have a ruler on hand. Okay, now, for the design I'm thinking about doing is a bird. I'm pretty sure it's called a songbird, or something like that. Um, my sister wanted me to do a feather, but honestly, I didn't feel the vibe of a feather. And birds, I thought was close enough. So, a bird, it's going to be a bird, like, chilling on a tree. And, yeah. I'm sorry, but that looks like a bowling pin. Okay, it looks less like a bowling pin, but still like a bowling pin, but maybe a crack in it. Oh, okay, there we go. So you just gotta shape it a lot. Now we're adding the beak and the eye. It's painting time. Whoop whoop. So I'm getting on my brushes. Doing a little sweeping. Okay, so the color of my bird is going to be yellow and different shades of gray and black. Um, so you're going to watch me make some colors. Okay, now that I made my colors, it's time to paint. Now, um, so I did watercolors, but I wanted to add a little bit of acrylics on top. But I ended just really covering the watercolor. You can still s see me draw it, but in the final product, I don't think you're going to see it at all. Okay, now on to acrylic. Ah! And look how satisfying that silver looks. Doesn't it just look fabulous. So now we're going in with the acrylic and we're adding layers on layers, really making it seem like there's layers of feathers on the actual bird. So that's what I'm going to be doing.
we're going in with some highlights to really shine those parts. And then we're going to go in with silver, which is my first time using metallic colors. And I'm very excited. Become the most scary but crucial part of the drawing the eye. I didn't realize it, but while drawing, it kind of looks like the bird has glasses on. Now I'm going in for the branch. Um, I'm just going to mix a bunch of different browns and add shadowing around the tail and the feet. Now, while in process of painting the bird, I did spill some paint on the background, so I need a background color. So with that, I'm going to make a really fun, easy background that's um, kind of a method that's really cool with watercolor. And basically just smear a bunch of water, um, cool your water, and then you just drop a, like, very pigmented water color and it will spread and it's very satisfying. <laughs> so I did that with gray, yellow, and a little bit darker gray. I filled in all the crevices and enjoy the satisfying spread. Okay guys, here's the finished product. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!